Hi everybody, it's Amy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am talking about five misconceptions about artists. So we're going to be talking about that today and I really hope you enjoy this video. So the first misconception a lot of people have is that in order to be an artist you have to be naturally talented in art and that some people just have a unique gift where they can just produce amazing artworks without really trying and this is something that really gets to me because it is so not true. So I can understand that for some people art might come more naturally to them so they may have always had a real interest in art or be very creative or maybe they even know a lot of great techniques and how to use certain materials but I don't think it's fair to say that this is just down to natural talent. I know as an artist just how much time, practice and dedication really goes into practicing and refining your skills and how hard it is to really produce artwork to a very high standard and to the best of your ability. So I believe that art is something that you really need to work on over time and you aren't just going to be able to produce amazing artworks overnight. So I do actually believe that anyone could be an artist and actually there are so many forms of art now. I personally even consider knitting, crochet, card making, sculpture and other things as forms of art because you are using your creative skills and ability to make something. And I really feel that people who are good at art are good because of their skills and how much they put into their art. So the next misconception that a lot of people have, and I really do hear this all the time, particularly as I didn't go to university, is that you can only be a successful artist if you have a degree or qualifications in art. So of course there are so many benefits and amazing things that can come out of university or studying a course to gain a degree or qualifications in art and I can really understand why people want to study art and why they feel that gaining qualifications in art is really important. So gaining qualifications or a degree in art can really help open so many doors for you and there can be a lot of career opportunities for you as an artist who does have a lot of qualifications behind them. But I do also feel that you can become a successful artist through other ways as well. So for me personally it was my choice not to go to university and continue my degree and I had various reasons for that but that doesn't mean that I can't succeed as an artist. There are so many opportunities for artists now so for example starting your own business or starting a business with someone else, taking a lot of commissions, running market stalls, exhibiting works in galleries or museums and even using social media as a tool to help you become a successful artist. So I really don't think it's fair to say that you can only be a successful artist if you've been to university. There are a lot of really successful artists and people in general who didn't go to university as well. So the next point I'd like to make about misconceptions people have is the idea that there is no money to be made in art. So I often hear a lot of people say you can't earn a good living as an artist or no one will buy my work and again this is something that I feel is a big misconception. If you are an artist or you're wanting a career in art then you absolutely can make and sell art and really make a good living for yourself as an artist and there are so many ways that you can do that. So I think what people get wrong a lot of the time is that they don't necessarily really think and plan out exactly what type of artwork they want to make and how they want to try and sell their work. There is a lot that goes into making money as an artist so it's not just about producing a really nice painting and listing it for sale. You do need to be quite productive productive with trying to market yourself and that is why business skills are so important and I just want to tie in the next misconception a lot of people have with the point I'm trying to make which is a lot of people expect their artwork to sell itself so when I talk about why it's so important to market yourself and have good business skills it's because a lot of people really struggle to make money as an artist and a lot of it is to do with not incorporating business skills so by business skills I mean what you need to be doing is really thinking about the ways that you can sell your artwork. So how are you going to stand out? What will make people look at your work and think wow I'd really like to buy that or I'd like to commission that person to do a pet portrait or whatever it is. Even right down to the way that you present yourself. So if you have an online presence as an artist maybe you have a Facebook page think about the ways that you can encourage people to use your services. So for example post pictures of your work, try and encourage clients to write a review of your services, offer special deals or discounts for clients and really try and go that extra mile for your clients. 
So finally, the last misconception I wanted to discuss is that your artwork needs to be perfect. And I wanted to talk about this point last because a lot of artists are really affected by this and it can be quite damaging really. So a lot of artists seem to really think that every part of their artwork has to be perfect because if it's not, then it's not good enough. And I myself have struggled with the idea of being a perfect artist in the past as well. So quite often I would heavily criticise my work. There would be certain aspects of my work that I didn't like or wanted to change. I wanted my art piece to look a certain way and so on. And I really think having this sort of mentality is not good for artists. I personally now really just strive to create artworks to the best of my ability and if I don't like the way that something has turned out I'm a lot more positive now so I'll just keep a mental note of what things I could change or try differently for next time. But anyway guys that is it for today's topic of discussion and I really hope you liked this one. I know this was a little bit of a different topic today but a lot of people do have a lot of misconceptions about art that really aren't necessarily true. So just wanted to give my thoughts and opinions on that and I really hope that this video helped you in some way. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this video then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you never miss an update from me. I upload art related videos three times a week and I have a list of all of the materials, products and equipment that I use in the description box down below. But anyway I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye everyone!